And now here's meteorologist Jose Gonzalez one more time with a look at our finally Friday forecast. Let's set. Yes. And everyone a fan of our weather this past week, right? I think it's been pretty close to perfect, waking up to the cool mornings, the pleasant afternoons, lots of sunshine, not dealing with any rain, although it'd be nice to get some rain because the lawns need it. And we're gonna see some wet weather heading into the weekend. Right now though, it is looking fantastic from our Rusty Pelican camera. Also very sunny and looking beautiful from our Key West camera. Radar and satellite quiet and dry right now. The breeze is out of the Southeast, anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles an hour and temperatures on the rise already 83 degrees in west and 82 in kendall 79 in miami 78 in fort lauderdale low to mid 80s down through the keys and taking a look at some other numbers noah issuing an update today stating that effective now and from here moving forward the amount of names storms and hurricanes is increasing based on the past 30 year period so from 1981 to 2010 the average name storms were about 12, six hurricanes, three major hurricanes, but based on the period from 1991 to 2020, now the average has increased to 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. Now, NOAA will be issuing its Atlantic season forecast towards the end of May, and of course, we'll have that for you. Yesterday, we had the Colorado State University Atlantic season forecast, but we turn our attention now also to the stormy weather across much of the Southeast and this low pressure area that has been sitting and spinning across much of the eastern half of the country. In fact, the Great Lakes and even parts of the Midwest also dealing with very active weather. But there is a moderate risk of severe storms here across parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Arkansas and the areas surrounding it across the deep south and the Gulf Coast states an enhanced risk of severe weather, especially as we head into the afternoon and evening. But here in South Florida, another stunning day, highs in the low 80s with that breeze out of the southeast. A slight risk of rip currents if you're headed to the beach, the UV index is high, you'll need your sunblock, you'll need your sunglasses, it's bright outside. And for voters, wind southeast at 10 knots, seas two, and a light chop on the bays. For tonight, it'll be pleasant along the coast, low 70s, and inland areas will be in the upper 60s. As you're planning your weekend, tomorrow is your best day to get outside, especially the first half of the day, because by late afternoon into the evening, we'll see the potential for some rain, but our highest rain chance will be on Sunday. It will be hotter and humid, highs in the upper 80s, and we'll see showers and storms developing that could produce some heavy rain in spots remaining unsettled through Monday and our highs will continue in the upper 80s through early next week.